Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Streggy, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. college flunkies. I've had enough of this from you and from everyone else. I know what you guys are trying to do. Break me down, drive me out of the force. Well, it's gonna take a hell of a lot more than a lame prank like this to get Curtis Mooney to throw in his badge, so fuck you. Over. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Delusions of Grandeur. I'm your host, David Streggy, and here I have another review for you from the American Horror Project Volume 2. Um, again, I really think it odd where, uh, that this set does not have a DVD like the UK set does, but, um, uh, I figured I'd go on about the second film in this set, and it's called, um, Dark August, um, and the film is, um... Uh, from nine uh, filmed in 1976 it was directed by Martin Go uh, Goldman and uh, it's about a ma uh, it's basically about a man who ha has run over a young girl accidentally and uh, the grandfather has in fact put a voodoo curse on uh, 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 uh this man and then nothing happens until the very end <laughs> uh th this is the film in a nut nut a nutshell um he keeps ha having um these visions of what happened and uh um i guess th uh, there is a, 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 he works odd jobs and uh he has a relationship with a local woman in town um, a, a, a who um, their love scene is kind of, uh, kind of cute um, uh, uh, together and uh, in a sense um, uh, he's just trying to make ends meet uh, w uh, with doing odd jobs like uh, b building th uh, th uh, th things and uh, uh, whatnot. And, um, there's a scene where evidently he's trying to saw something with a co-worker and he ends up sawing into his leg uh, b because he's so entranced uh, or he keeps seeing visions of someone following him, um, and uh, there is, in fact, a, a someone who is uh, kind of a medium, who plays kind of a medium, um, who um, ultimately shows up in here. I believe her name... Um, is Kim Hunter, and she, uh, she uh, plays Adrian uh, Putnam. Now, from what I understand, <laughs> uh, see, this film was very boring for me. Um, it uh, kind of dragged. 
Um, it real was really really slow, and uh, I think this was the worst film in this set. But um, that being said, it, it basically it, it was about the grandfather ultimately trying to um, um, kill. Uh, this young man by uh, uh, by torturing him to death about the uh, the death that he caused, and when someone who had any sense of the supernatural uh, tr uh, tried to stop it all, he uh, the grandfather had uh, had uh, the audacity to come to that per. Uh, to that woman's house and shoot her in the in the head, and he, in turn, um, uh, what is it? If you fuck with bi a black magic, it fucks back with you. <laughs> uh, whatever dark magic that he had um, entranced to um, or enlisted to help him actually turned on him in the end. So, I guess that uh, that's what the film was uh, was about, and I guess uh, uh, to me it was just kind of an odd film, uh, slow going. Um, it wasn't entirely action f uh, f filled. It was a drama, and uh, it was it, 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 the script could have been tightened, way tightened. Um, and it could have been a shorter film, in fact. Uh, but uh, it was a product of the 70s. Uh, so you had some slowness going on. <laughs> it felt like if I was on drugs, I'd probably be able to stand this movie just a little bit more. But I was, uh, was not when I watched this, so I felt it to be very boring. Um, this, is the, this is one of the first films that I will have to say that it was not as entertaining as I thought it would be. Um, so that's a lot say, uh, as, as saying a little. <laughs> In any case, hopefully you've enjoyed my description of this film. Do not let my negativity about this film um, scare you away from watching it. You could, in fact, enjoy it. Um, for uh, for it, it did have to have to do with um, a little bit of witchcraft, uh, voodooism, um, and and it was kind of an odd ending um, where the uh, the lead person trying to help them out was actually, in a sense, shot in the head. Uh, but then uh, uh, the uh, then the old man was. Uh, uh, chased after by whatever entity ha that he had tried to enlist. So, hopefully you enjoyed my description of this film. Like and subscribe to my page if you have not. Definitely check out the um, other reviews that I've had. Um, um, I'll have some more um, strange films to go on about um, and uh, share with you my thoughts. And hopefully this was in some way some help for you. So thank you for the traffic. Uh, appreciate your time. And uh, just go check the film out for yourself. Do not take my uh, opinion of this film in any way, shape, or form as fact. Um, you're entitled to your own opinion. So in any case, uh, thank you for listening. Have a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you are. Pr appreciate your time once again. Thank you. You were good, kid, real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see?